Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season. Uh, the previous episode we had uh, Ligoshi uh, looking for an alternative by Gohan's advice that is he won't eat meat technically but he'll consume insects and one thing that he did was like he's being respectful towards his food I, and I think that's the main thing you know you should keep in mind like be respectful towards where your food comes from like obviously like, you have to consume food to live like you know the food cycle and all like uh, herbivores will eat grass like you know plants and carnivores will eat the herbivores in turn and like like that that cycle happens so like to live you have to consume food you have to uh, like you know take a life to live yourself but like be respectful for where the from where the food comes from and that's it and uh yeah and like bugs and worms are a good uh, like you know source of protein so i'm guessing ligoshi will uh you know like regain his strength again and uh they'll like uh like he also invited ligoshi to come like watch him <laughs> by <laughs> wearing the <laughs> one of the most <laughs> like amazing disguises <laughs> and also like in the end uh oh I'll, I'll, and the thing happens with pina like i'm not sure what happened to pina like is is like bluffing or did he really kill pina i hope that's not the case because pina is like an amazing character i really liked him and it would be amazing if like you know like he and legoshi can become like you know friends and everything but i don't know like this is beastars we're talking about like th this show can be a little like you know like you know bold taking decisions like it can kill people uh off so i'm quite concerned so anyways i'm sure we'll get to the answer this episode and i really hope that pina is still alive and he's just bluffing and in the end we also saw another like uh surprising portion where like uh ibuki and like uh like louis said like i want to leave the shishikumi and ibuki took him in a tunnel and there was like a gunshot so let's see what happens so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number 12 of p stars season 2 Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Wait, what? Wait, what the hell? Wait, why is the ending being shown? Like, am I in the right episode? Yeah, I think so. This is episode 12, isn't it? What? Oh, I've been seeing anime for so long, but I've never seen an anime do this, you know? Like, play the ending song in the beginning, like, just at the beginning like uh, like in the middle of it we have uh, like heard a lot of times you know like when the main character powers up or something like the ending song starts playing but like this this is the first time like i'm guessing they're playing this because you know the situation is like you know the like louis and uh, ibuki gets into the tunnel and i think that is like it's been shown in this ending that scene so that's why are they playing the ending song first? Yeah, you see like Ibuki is driving, uh, Louis is sitting, like it's the same thing that's happening. Feast of Destiny. Yeah, here you go. Now what happens? They dropped. Close out my relation. Oh, he turned off the light. Liz, wow. Damn, Luis is like sweating. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of figured something like this happened. Oh my god. Wait, his... What? Oh my god! So this was Ibuki's plan! What the... Oh my god, now this starts. Oh great, what? Okay, come on. Ligoshi, can you detect him? Is he alive? Oh, thank god! Mike, I was really like, you know, concerned. I really, I really like uh, Pina's character. Like, Pina's like an amazing character. Oh, <laughs> thank God. All right. No. Come on. Damn. Oh boy, come on. My ego. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm training. Come on. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> this is hallucinating. <laughs> it's like a magical girl show, you know, like when they, <laughs> they disperse like little butterflies and then they like manifest again. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god damn. <laughs> True friendship. Yeah. He is still in denial. Oh boy. Come. Oh! Damn! Oh! Ah, great. Yeah, I kind of thought. Yeah, yeah, like, as I said, like, he is doing this to save his own sanity. To keep himself saying he's, like, in denial, and he himself knows that. What the? 
Yeah, and he made a fabrication in his mind that Tim was like hugging him. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, completely true, you know? Like, that would have happened. Yep, he can't come back. He has gone down too much. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh. What? What's that noise? Oh, Louis! Oh yeah, he was coming here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, where did they go? Ran away? Okay. Oh, all right. Now, yeah. Oh, he got out himself. Damn, he's strong. Oh, he used his horns. Damn, intelligent. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, the first season. <laughs> well, this is Legoshi, you know, like. Yeah. 
Damn, he's crying. Wow, this is the first time. Yeah, Ibuki's situation is also not helping, you know. Yeah, like, but what can you even do? Like, what? Wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! And that won't work, like... Yeah, it's the uh, whole... The whole uh, thing with his childhood. Wait, is he really going to eat it? Like... Oh my god. Oh my god, I was not expecting this. What the... Damn. Oh my god, that doesn't hurt! Uh, like... Oh my god, it would hurt so much! Oh great, now like, oh, she's like... Oh, the subtitles are blurred. He's so damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Shut up. He's not like you. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, come on. Damn, his his body is <laughs> buffed up. Oh, come on. Come on, you're a wolf! Come on! Oh! Damn, he's... He... <laughs> God damn, just look at him. Wow, that's a weird way to think. Like, unrequited feelings are like the strongest. 
And, but he's kind of right. Okay, I'm going to talk about this later on. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Did he like... Yeah. Whoa, that was something. <laughs> yeah, good New Year. <laughs> like, was he like? You know, he's so polite, like, even during, <laughs> like, a life and death situation, life and, death, life and death fight, he knows how to, like, like, you should, like, wish someone ha uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Borrowed words. Wow. Okay, come on, go to the hospital, quick. <laughs> ah, amazing. Okay, enough talk. Go to the hospital, Louis. <laughs> and, and yeah, wipe the blood, please. Curse inflicted. Wow. Wow, that was like so wholesome. <laughs> Even though like like Legoshi ate <laughs> Louis's leg. Like such a weird thing. It's, like still it's so wholesome. Okay, thank thank God. Oh yeah, they must be a, okay, okay. Uh, but not r Riz, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a whole like stain on your... Oh. Oh, does Haru not know? Hmm. 
Oh, that's the end. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly ended like that. But like, are they going to do any other see like you know uh, upcoming seasons? Is there any? Let me check. You know, uh, is there any uh, new announcement or anything? Like, uh, I think the manga has ended, hasn't it? Like, uh, as far as I know. So like, there's no like no like need to delay like they can just um start okay there is no announcement i think no no announcements so i'm guessing i'm sure they will continue this because vistas is quite popular and um yeah like the ending of this episode kind of felt what can you say like incomplete that means i'm sure like they will like you know continue from here like you know there's like these like shows where the uh, last episode of the season is like it always feels like like yeah this is kind of incomplete this episode so usually in those cases uh, they get the next season and like anime is quite you know popular nowadays like pre like previously there was this thing you know like where animes were like only a medium for advertise adv uh, advertisement of the um, manga or the light novel and they used to like only do one season and they would stop like people would get interested and they would like it would act like an advertisement for the manga the light novel but nowadays because anime is so mainstream like like anime itself is like a whole thing so they usually like keep on uh, the, the series ongoing if it is popular so i'm sure we'll get a new season like i have hope so like it got a second season so what's like a third or a fourth season like going to harm like they're definitely do it so i'm definitely excited uh f like if they really like like how they're going to proceed from here and uh like yeah like one thing that uh, i'm really glad about like two things that i'm really glad about is like Luis and Legoshi, they have really become like you know became friends now. Now like in uh, in the end of season one, there was still this whole a little bit of uh what do you can I see what can I say spark a little bit of uh like uh, an awkwardness a weirdness between them. Uh, even though they both both of them acknowledged each other, they still had a little bit of problem. But this season like the end of this season really brought a conclusion not a conclusion but uh yeah you can kind of say a conclusion to the uh awkwardness that they were having uh, and like they are really friends now and i'm really glad about that that's one thing i'm really glad about another thing that i'm really glad about is pina is fine yeah i i was really like one thing i was kind of like at the beginning i was like okay like they're showing it like this so maybe like pina is all right you know like pina is all right and then i, I suddenly like uh, I suddenly realized that this is B stars. Like they can, like you won't be surprised if they suddenly kill off a character. Like as far as like uh, the you know at atmosphere I can get from this show, it's like that. Like it, it won't be surprising. Like obviously I I doubt they're going to kill the main characters, but Pina was kind of like a side character. So like uh, like it wouldn't be surprising if they suddenly you know like killed off a side character and that was really concerning because uh, i have to say like in this se like season uh, out of the side characters uh, i like pina the most like pina was such an amazing character and like that's why i was really concerned as to like is pina really fine is it is bluffing or is it really something that he did so thankfully like he's fine <laughs> you know and i'm glad about that and uh, <clears throat> yeah okay so this episode so uh, okay, the first thing I have to talk about here is <clears throat> the whole thing with Ibuki. Now, I I think I'm a little bit confused here as to why Ibuki, you know, like, like, like why Ibuki acted like this. Like, it seemed as if, like, he did this to help Louis. But my question is, how did it help Louis? Like, as far as I could understand, like, he decided to like like as you know like Luis said that I would like to get away from here and like Ibuki knows that it won't be easy to get away from the Shishigumi because Shishigumi is like a gang you know like and it's usually easy to not easy but like people can get into gangs but getting out of that leaving your past behind starting a new life that's difficult that's extremely difficult so like when Luis said that I'm going to leave Shishigumi like 
Ibuki knew that like he won't be able to leave this place so easily. And Ibuki also like as he said that he uh, wants the best for Luis. He was saved by Luis. So like I'm sure like he wanted to help Luis. And uh, the thing that he did, he did like uh, like he acted as if like he was going to attack Luis, which obviously he was not going to. It was just an acting he did. So he acted like that and uh, like Luis shot him. Did Luis shot him or like did, uh, oh no, I think Free shot him. Or, or not, like who, who shot him? I, I'm a bit confused here, just a sec. Let me just check. Okay, there's this gunshot that's happening. And like, Ibuki falls on Luis's lap. Okay, it's not showing. And then, like, free comes in. Okay, then Luis says, Why are you? Oh, the free says that I don't regret shooting. So, did free shoot him? I, 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 I think, like, like, Luis did not shoot him, did he? I'm sure. Okay, like, Luis did not shoot him. So, free shot him. Okay, all right. So, so like was like so Ibuki did this so that like it he acted as if he's going to attack Lewis so that like you know like he already told Free that if I try to eat our boss shoot me and Free also came and he shot Ibuki and then like um and then like Lewis says that uh, I I was I said I like, I I want to quit the group that's why like Ibuki did this and okay and then if he says i guess he had to come to terms with his relationship with you as a lion in the end uh, please never come back to the dark market again if i kill you too you, you will have died for nothing okay i am uh, i'm quite you know like confused here as to like I can I can understand that Ibuki did this for Lewis but like like what was the significance of this like Ibuki is dead now and like free like why did he have to die I'm really not understanding it like is there something that I'm missing I'm trying to think. Um, like Ibuki acted as if he was trying to, like you know, eat uh, Legoshi, which is why, like I, I'm sure, like everyone will know after this, like you know, all the Shishigumi members, like uh, like when they'll ask that where is our boss, where is Ibuki, I'm sure Free will say that oh, like Ibuki tried to go eat uh, Louis, that's why I shot. Uh, Ibuki, he's dead, and like uh, Luis, because of that, Luis won't come back. Something like that, he's most probably going to say. Was that the reason why, like, Ibuki did this? And Free also said that, like, you run away from here and don't you dare come back because I'll have to shoot you, and I don't want Ibuki's death to be in vain. I think it's something along that because, like, as I said, like, getting out of Shishigumi was it would be extremely tough. Like, they won't leave him alone. So, I'm sure, like, Ibuki uh, wanted to help Luis, and that's why, like, he sacrificed himself for that, or something like that. Because I, I really am unable to understand, like, you know, like, put my finger on the reason why, like, Ibuki, like, sacrificed himself, for what reason. But I think it's something like that. I'm not actually sure. <clears throat> so, yeah. And... Uh, like like sad like uh you know like Luis and Ibuki were I think the only two person that was really like you know close to Luis and I think his father is also kind of like that but obviously because he and Luis did not have much con interaction with each other like they are kind of awkward around each other but yeah like so it's really like you know 
like uh, the only the only carnivore like uh, you know like the carnivore that he got to be friends with Ibuki and like at least uh, Legoshi is you know friends with him now but like Ibuki was also another carnivore that yeah and <clears throat> Okay, and then in the next scene we get to the Riz situation, and they are like fighting and everything, and like, uh, <laughs> like I really, what can I say? Like I really am um, fascinated at like, like you know, Legoshi, like how he changes his tone at the drop of a hat. Like it was like he was fighting, you know, like. Like you know what I I see I I see like like at this like the way Rigoshi acts it seems as if he has the biggest what can I say like he's the most bravest and he has the most guts out of like any character that I've seen in this show like he like in this episode also like we saw like we've seen this in a lot of episodes like this is how Rigoshi acts like he is having a life and death match suddenly. He like lays down and and says that okay like story time like you tell me what is like your actual story. Reese himself was so like astonished at that, <laughs> and like like imagine the amount of bravery and guts you need to pull off a stunt like that. Just imagine like it's as if like he doesn't even care. About like he's bleeding or what's happening, he's going to die. He doesn't even care. It's as if like he like whatever he thinks at the moment, he does it. Like there's no like you know like indication of fear. And I think I have never seen Legoshi f be fearful of anything in these two seasons. I don't think so. Like I've never seen seen him getting like you know like afraid of something uh, in a like you know in a dangerous situation. Like. He's like you know extremely like what can I say like calm and like like calm and cold like in like even dangerous situations and that's like freaking impressive and not only like <clears throat> in that scene in the next scene also like when they're like fighting when after like Legoshi eats uh, Luis's leg uh, they were fighting <laughs> when the <laughs> New Year like happened. Legoshi is like, oh, like, um, like I should probably do this now, like, uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> wow, like, just wow, like, I am really impressed by that. Like, the amount of guts and courage it, it, it's needed for, like, to pull off a stunt like that. Like, imagine, like, killing, like, you know, like, having a death battle with someone. And suddenly, like, you stop, like, you know, suddenly your opponent stops. And he says that, oh, like, I forgot, like, happy birthday. <laughs> like, I forgot to wish you. Like, I suddenly remembered, like, happy birthday. And then they can start fighting. Like, damn. <laughs> like, that's something, like, <laughs> I'm really impressed with. And, yeah, I think, like, Legoshi is probably one of the most strongest. And, like, he's not strong because he is, you know, like, I'm not talking about his physical strength. His strength comes from his... Um, <clears throat> What can you say like his uh fearlessness like his fearlessness is his like major strength he 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 doesn't falter at any situation like everything is like a walk in the park for him and yeah like i i think like that is the most impressive thing about Ligoshi. i've seen this like i've been like uh, like noticing this for a not a couple of episodes from season one that he is extremely like nothing phases him and at the same time, he like uh, keeps his polite demeanor and like he talks with everyone politely. Even like that's like that needs uh, what can I say? Like nerves of steel. Like the way he like does everything, and I'm really impressed with that. Anyways, and then like uh, the fighting happens, and thank God like Pina is okay, and <coughs> then like Legoshi come, uh, Lewis comes in. Oh, also another thing, uh, like, uh, uh, Riz talks about his, like, you know, like, about his problems, like, and I kind of, like, saw this coming, like, he says that I myself knew that I have done something wrong, but, you know, like, uh, because, like, uh, like, Tim was my friend, my first friend, like, he, like, kind of fabricated the whole, like, situation, 
and it seemed as if like they were hugging and everything and like he is acting as if like their friendship is like devouring is the friendship that they have and like I, he himself like uh, admits that yeah i myself know that the thing that i did was wrong but as i said before like he was doing this to keep his sanity all right like otherwise like if he like admitted that yeah the thing that i did was wrong i killed them he would have gone insane because the fact is that he really loved them as a friend so like i'm sure like that made it even harder for him to admit that yeah i killed my friend just for my hunger and my like instincts so he kind of like made this whole thing with like yeah i ate them uh, tim was very happy because like we are best friends now tim is within me and like it's like a very special thing we have very special bond we have and yeah <clears throat> and as we saw like uh like reese's like thought was like devouring something is like the bond that a carnivore and a herbivore had and like Louis's uh, like you know ideal was that uh, like protecting the herbivores is the proof of the bond that the car carnivore and herbivore had and they're like complete opposites but at the same time they were like, extremely alike because both of them were doing something for the car herbivores both of them loved car herbivores but the way they did things are completely opposite that's why like in the moral compass uh, Riz is in the bad side and like Louis is in the good side because yeah and <clears throat> okay and then like uh like uh, Louis comes back and they go for a little talk and like one of the most shocking things happens here which i would have never thought would happen where like Louis uh gives up his feet to legoshi to and says that eat it and like as Louis said that you yourself know that uh like even though you train even though you are like you know like don't eat uh meat like you're weak so you have to consume meat if you want to defeat Riz and like he like offered his uh, you know the uh, marked leg where there's like the number four was written which kind of like as he said that he was still shackled in his past he was still afraid in that cage in that prison and like that like fear was something that was shackling him and he wanted to be free from that fear he wanted to free his past so that's why like it was his own way to like you know accept the carnivores and his own way to like break free of the shackles of his past by offering up his uh, leg which was marked because i'm sure like whenever he looked at the leg he got remembered uh, like he remembered and uh, of the uh, you know of his past and it was like his way of kind of dealing with the situation and like <clears throat> the whole thing is twisted but still it's like in a way it's kind of like him acknowledging legoshi as you know he said that like uh, what did he said he, he he said a really amazing word i'm going to like i think it's come, going to come after this okay let me like just uh, discuss about the situation further okay and then he like consumes the leg and uh, legoshi becomes buff like damn like <laughs> I, I think like no amount of training would like make him like this in a like in a matter of seconds like he just <laughs> completely like you know like became like what is that word yeah buff buff is the word isn't it yeah like he got buffed in just a like you know second uh and yeah and they were like kind of on the equal length like equal power level and like reason they were like fighting <clears throat> And also, like Reese, after seeing Louis cheering for uh, Legoshi, uh, he understood that uh, that yeah, like this type of friendship also like is there, like also exists. And another thing that Reese says here is quite you know like interesting. He says that my friendship went unrequited. He's talking about them, and then he says that's why I thought my feelings were stronger than anyone else's and like the thing he says that like unrequited feelings is the strongest quite true in a way because you know like if someone is like 
you know, like answers your feelings back. That's it. But if your feeling is unrequited, like you, like the feeling goes grows stronger and stronger. Like you are unable to get out of that situation. In, in a sense, you know. So kind of in a way, like it's like what can I say? Like like if someone like uh f like answers your feelings, it would be like the both of you are carrying the you know burden of the feelings. Like you had the feelings with you. You confessed to someone. That person accepted. The feelings that you carried that's going to be carried by both of them it will be like an equal burden the both of them are carrying but in case of unrequited feelings you confess he or she rejects you like you're still left with the same amount of feelings it might get like you know it might increase even like in some cases it decreases but at the same time in a lot of cases it increases even after that so like you are yourself are the only one carrying that burden so that's why like he's saying that unrequited feelings are stronger in them in a way that is quite true but i can also like kind of bring a counter argument here is but i won't go in that situation but but yeah like anyways like it's just a uh you know a, a thing that he said so yeah in a way it's correct and then he says that even after eating and being eaten their bond has just grown stronger and firmer which was different for him and them like when them like uh, understood that like he was going to eat him or something like, them rejected him and i'm sure like louis would have also rejected him uh like legoshi if this was like uh like you know like a lot earlier but now that they had like like they have faced a lot of situations their characters have developed you know they went through a lot of character development that's why they like both of them are able to accept it Louis is able to accept that yeah my uh, like feet I've like given it to uh, Legoshi and he's eaten it and Legoshi is also able to accept the fact that yeah I have to eat if I want to win so it's a lot different than the relationship of them and Riz and the relationship of Louis and Legoshi it's a lot of like it's a lot different it's like heaven and hell difference so in a way like I think like as like we said that it's like a little bit of uh, like he was surprised that like something like this also exists <clears throat> and and yeah and then like yeah, and then like <laughs> like uh, Louis uh, not Louis like Legoshi um like wishes this <laughs> happy new year which is i think one of the most like you know like ballsy move <laughs> like imagine fighting to the death and suddenly like uh, wishing uh, your enemy a happy birth uh, happy birthday or happy new year <laughs> wow <clears throat> and and then like uh louis also like uh kind of says something to Riz, which as he said like he's not talking like he's not uh, like using borrowed words he's using his own words uh, and the borrowed words were always used because he was like afraid of the like he was being shackled by his past so <laughs> and then like louis like says that thank you for the meal <laughs> oh my god this like legoshi is like what can i say like uh, and he says that you're like the first and the last me like meat that i consumed <clears throat> and uh where is that uh oh here it is like this line uh this line louis says that the weakness and pain of the prey uh the curse inflicted by the fangs of carnivore could only be lifted by the fangs of carnivores these fangs finally freed from me from my curse so yeah like the fangs that made the curse the same fangs was the thing that freed him from from that curse that's what he's saying so yeah such an amazing uh, finale i have to say and then like um the whole thing happens like riz is arrested and louis was also uh Ligoshi was also arrested but like from the because of the testimonies he's like out excuse me but there's like you know a red stain on his 
like what can i say on his life now that yeah like i was like uh like i've eaten a uh, heart before uh and like yeah there's like a whole like red stamp like history of meat consumption on his uh certificate or whatever that is so yeah and then like uh, Legoshi decides to leave school and um i think he like obviously like, he thinks that he cannot you know go along with this anymore the whole uh, like going school thing and everything because he has eaten uh like lewis you know lewis's leg so i don't know i think it's something like that that he's thinking and he thinks that i have to go on my own way i have to find my own way which is not something that i will be able to do if i stay in school or something like that i'm not sure which i'm sure like will be like more explanations will come if we get a new season i'm sure we'll get a new season so like why he decided to leave the school and what he plans on doing uh, from here onwards and haru is not happy and yeah like uh, like thinking about it if you're like in haru's shoes it's like uh like he is like you know kind of out of touch from everything like things are happening and she doesn't even know like how to keep up with it so but anyways like i think that was like in the end when he was she was saying that i'll maybe i'll get a boyfriend that was that was a joke i'm sure about it and like uh, i'm sure they're fine you know like their relationship will grow stronger and stronger and i'm sure like one day they'll be able to accept each other and um oh and also one thing i kind of realized so haru does not know that um louis ate like uh, legoshi ate louis's leg i think so because like i think legoshi said something here which kind of indicated that uh, Oh yeah, here it is. Like when, like you, like Haru says that you won't tell me what's going on. You have like scars on your face, and now you won't tell me why you're leaving. And so this kind of indicates that she does not know what's actually happening. So I don't actually know if she knows that uh, Legoshi was, you know, arrested. I'm not sure if he, she knows about that as well. Or she's also like at like you know in dark about that uh, like incident as well but i think like she is kind of like she does not know about a few things so that's why like she's like kind of like sulking and saying like he also doesn't know the okay so she doesn't know about the wounds on his eyebrows so that means she doesn't know what happened okay so that kind of like you know answers my question that yeah she does not know what actually happened Otherwise, she wouldn't have said that I don't know what, like, how you got the scars. So, okay. And I really don't know how Haru would have reacted if she got to know that the things that happened and that Luis's leg is in Legoshi's tummy. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, that was it. That was this episode. This was season 2, uh, the final episode, episode number 12 and yeah i enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and these stars i've always like always enjoyed it it is so unique with uh, a lot of things and i really love the like world they have they're building you know and uh, one thing i'm really impressed with is the way they keep an eye out for details like small little things you know small little things which uh, when you kind of see you realize that oh my god like this is something that wouldn't happen in the you know like real world but they kind of made uh like play like ob observed about these small little things and like implemented them in this show uh like uh like you know there's this whole thing with when like in one of the previous episode there was this like the cheetah girl like she was saying that my like you know i cannot wear colorful dresses because my you know my fur is, like is spotted so it won't like match properly and stuff like that like uh, those kind of little bits and pieces of details i'm really impressed with that because they like it's like a whole new like world and they are extremely like uh you know like keeping an eye out for de details which is quite rare and it is quite difficult in this situation as well because this is like a completely new universe where there's no humans it's like all everyone are animals so like when you like write or draw a manga you usually like put yourself as a protagonist and like draw everything do everything but you have to imagine yourself as uh like you know a wolf 
here and you have to like put yourself in the shoes of the other characters who are animals so the environment should also be you know kind of reflecting that yeah the, like there's no humans here there are only animals so those small little changes they like put really uh, a lot of effort in that and i'm really impressed with that and also like the main character legoshi as i said is like he's also quite fascinating in a way because he's unique like as i said like i kind of explained in this episode that he has nerves of steel like i've never seen him getting uh like you know like scared i've never seen him like cowering or like being afraid of anything he's one of the most casual like you know the like characters and he jumps into dangerous situation and doesn't even bat any eyelid and he's like casual about it just like this episode where he like wishes him happy new year and even like lays down and says that like tell me your story in that life and death situation so like i think legoshi has a lot of potential uh, for more character development like he is like one of the most like you know strongest in terms of uh, like uh, fearlessness like nothing like af makes him afraid so yeah like, that is something i'm really impressive so yeah guys that's it guys so this was episode number 12 of beast us season 2 and this was the last episode of the season thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys and um i hope they like come with an announcement quick and like we get an upcoming like you know a new season and i'm really hoping for a new season because i want to continue this and i want to know what happens so yeah so anyways guys thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day